Two years after Kiss Me, Kiss Me, Kiss Me, The Cure have made a comeback with a new album released on May the 2nd. This is in spite of rumours that the band may be splitting up and a projected solo album from Robert Smith. This turmoil is reflected in the rather gloomy title of the new album, Disintegration. It's just about really how we feel, sort of personal disintegration. It's not really the group or anything around us, it's just a kind of interior disintegration. But it was, the title was picked for the effect it would have on everyone. Like when, when we were making the record, if, we, if we've got a strong title, it makes everyone focus you know, on, on the end, what the, the end result's going to be. If we didn't have a title at all when we were working, no one would have a very good idea of what we were supposed to be doing. I don't think. There's too many of us now. Never thought life could ever be. The atmosphere in the studio belies what's actually on the record. Mm. It's almost like you, we, we couldn't possibly be as upset as we are on the record all the time. It's almost like when we finish recording, there's like a release and we go the other way and we get really stupid and we just play practical jokes and it's really, really tedious. I mean, the Kiss Me album was supposed to be like a showcase almost of things that we can do and it was like a record you'd you would really listen to with, you could listen to with other people. And this record is really something that you listen to on your own, I think. Um, it does have echoes of things that we've done before, and it dates back. Everything we do, I think, nods vaguely towards our history, but um, uh, most of what we do is really simple. <laughs> I didn't get married to, to, to make a statement, I suppose. I, 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 both me and Mary wanted all our families to, and to be together and everyone to be together that we might not see again. That was the, like the main reason for getting married, was to actually have a day, a really emotional day that we would remember. I mean, the actual state of marriage, I, mean, I personally don't, you know, I don't say too much about it. It doesn't really make any difference. It hasn't made any difference to either of us, I don't think. <laughs> I always feel like that after we've done any, <laughs> any kind of project. I, I just, um, I get very disillusioned very quickly with, um, I never sort of feeling that we've achieved anything. It's like, a, you know, I'm, I'm always discontent. So I always think, we should, you know, that we're, ne that we're not really getting anywhere, we're not doing anything. If the band sounds miserable, imagine how Lowell Tolhurst feels. The stalwart keyboard player and longtime accomplice of Robert Smith has been unceremoniously booted out of the band. I think the rest of the group was surprised that I actually went ahead and t told him that he wasn't in the group, as he'd become such a fixture. But it just changed too much. It really changed. It's the only one of us, I think, that had been changed by the group in an adverse way. I and mean, obviously we've all changed, but... Um, sort of mentally and physically, he's really suffering, on it. It's in his own interest not to be in the group at the moment, as much as it is ours. It sounds very, e very easy to, to say that. It's like we could do better, but we don't want to. But it is actually, it's true in our case. I mean, I, there's so many things that we don't do that we should do to kind of establish ourselves even more and to capitalise on, on what we do. But um, Really, the idea of that kind of overwhelming uh, fame, in a, in a way, I mean, not that it's very likely we would get it, but it it's, has too many disadvantages, and we've been doing it too long to be taken in by the, the sort of the veneer of fame and what it brings, because um, all it brings is trouble, really. One of the Ameri